In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to solve an increase problem. The problem reads, Tom DeGali of Century 21 Real Estate purchased a new GPS for $639, including 6 and 1/2% sales tax. Find A, the price of the GPS before tax, and B, the amount of sales tax. Okay, so in solving this problem, what are some of the key points? Well first, since we're trying to find the price of the GPS before the sales tax, we recognize this problem to be an increase problem. The original price of the GPS was increased due to the sales tax. So, how do we find the rate? Well, we may find the rate by taking 100%, which represents the full amount of the base, which is the original price, plus 6 and 1 half percent, which is the, the uh, percent increase that has occurred, or it's the percentage by which the original price of the GPS has increased. And 6 and 1 half percent, of course, may be written as 6.5%. Well, the part is $639, and this is the cost of the GPS after the increase occurred. With an increase problem, the part is always the cost or the amount of the item, whatever it is, after the increase. So, base is equal to part divided by rate, which we can represent as P divided by R. And again, since this is an increase problem, it's a base problem. That's what it is we're trying to find. And so then substituting in the values that we now know, we know the part is $639 and we know the rate is 106.5%. And of course, anytime we do a computation involving a percent, we must convert that percentage to a decimal. So 106.5% as a decimal would become 1.065. And when we do the arithmetic, we see that the base or the cost of the GPS before the increase is $600. Now, we may also think of this problem uh, in a different manner. It does require the use of algebra in order to really follow this, this other method I'm going to describe. But in general, this course does not require algebra, so you can use the methods that we just pre previously discussed in order to solve increased problems. But this uh, explanation that I'm now going to provide may give you a better understanding of what's going on in the problem. Well, since the cost of the GPS before tax is unknown, let's use the variable C to represent the cost of the GPS. The actual amount of sales tax would then be given by the expression 6.5% times C, which we may think of as 0.065C. So as you probably know, anytime you go into a store and you buy an item, sales tax has to be added on to the cost of the item. And the way we get that sales tax is by just taking a percentage of the actual sale price of the item. So in this case, the cost of the GPS plus tax on the GPS would total $639. We may write this mathematically as C plus 6.5% times C is equal to 639. Converting the percentage to a decimal yields 0.065C, so we would add that to C. So we have C plus 0.065C is equal to 639. And then, since C and 0.065C may be thought of as like terms, we may just add those two expressions together to get 1.065C equals 639. Hence, C may then be thought of as the quotient of 639 divided by 1.065, yielding C equals $600.